Okay guys, here's a little quick video of the multi-engine programming I did with this Aerosky Duke B60, just something to play with, on my DX9. I have the throttles set up so that you can individually control the motor or put them back into sync. Right now, they're in sync, so as I throttle up, they're both at the same RPM. No matter what I do with my rudder channel or any other channel, they're both going to turn at the same RPM. Now then, if I uh, multi -engine mix on. turn the multi-engine switch on, now then, they're still in sync, but as I go left or right rudder, it increases the RPM to one or the other. It actually increases and decreases so that I can P-factor turn. So basically, that right there is, I have the rudder on the bottom. Kind of hard to do this and show you with that and the motor at the same time here. So anyway, interesting function. I had it out yesterday on the ground actually driving it around you can literally spin it on a dime and give yourself 11 cents change so it'll be interesting to how it does how it does in the air and playing around with different p-factor turning on a twins which is usually always a hairy subject with twin engine guys losing an engine but actually it's fun to learn how to play with it i've actually done this with a seaplane and use P-Factor for turning and steering it in the water, and it's actually pretty nice. You just have to kind of tweak it and get it set up right now. I have it set up with a mix to the rudder channel, two mixes in the DX9, um, and then one throttle, actually my pilot throttle, is unplugged from the Y cable and plugged into AUX4. And I'll go into the mixing menu here on my radio, if anybody can see this. And AUX4 is actually where the pilot's throttle is. And then there's two, mix, there's two mixes. Rudder throttle right there. Whoops. Rudder and throttle. And rudder and AUX4 is all it takes. And I'll go to the rudder and throttle mix. And you'll see that I have it set at a 50-50-100 on switch C with the trim active. So this switch right both there, engine mix off. both my bottom positions are off. Multi-engine mix on. And then the top position separates the throttle channels. So if I get uncomfortable with it, I can actually put it back off. there and it bypasses these sinks that are these special program mixes that I've got so anyway I'm going to use this Duke to play around with it these are the rough percentages that I'm using at first and will probably end up getting dialed down just a little bit because you don't want to get too crazy with it but I want to take it up and fly it and actually throw it into the individual engine mode there and do some P factor turning and uh, get it tweaked to just right I'm guessing that I'm probably going to come down to about a 30% mix. So 100% rudder to a 30% throttle mix and do a turn there. So anyway, just thought I'd share that real quick. Again, once again, real quick here, if I can keep my iPad here from shaking. Synced. There we go. Thanks for watching, guys.